Hi you guys, this is Nina and I am back again updating you on the daily rumbles and tumbles of the royal family. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter at loveradio44132. Also check out my podcast at anchor.fm forward slash rosie88. And don't forget to donate at cash app money symbol Nina. 44132. And this is alleged. This is in no means a breaking story. This is alleged. These are only my opinions, but this is actually starting to look a little sociopathic, and I'm going to explain what is going on here. All right, so as you know, Meghan and Harry are in Canada. The purpose of them going to Canada in the first place was to get some peace and some family time and basically to try to, I guess, reconcile things going on, issues that they were having with the media, especially the paparazzi stories in the newspaper, um, and I will say that a lot of tabloids have definitely went in on Megan in a way that I never thought I would see. She has been on the receiving end of a lot of sad, sad um, allegations. You know, I am actually even reading now that Harry has a love child. You know, so I've been trying to do research on this, try to figure out what was going on for myself. And I'm going to bring you back to them being in Canada in one second. Just let me make a full story, give you a full picture at what I am actually trying to get at with this situation. First of all, People are pointing to the fact that William and Harry were not as divisive in nature. Their relationship used to be very good up until the point when Meghan and Harry hooked up. They were seen out a lot more. They were both smiling a lot more. Um, even Kate seemed to have a very natural grin about her when she was with uh, Prince Harry and photos and things that they took. But it seems like people are basically saying that Meghan came between them. The little bit of evidence that people really want to point out is the fact that why was it that only... Megan's mother came to her lavish princess wedding, which I am reading reports costed upwards of $30 million. Okay, why wouldn't you want to invite a little bit more of your family, um, uncles, cousins? Heck, it could have been people from her mother's side of the family. I actually thought. At least more people from her mother's side of the family would have showed up. Maybe some grandparents, cousins, relatives, you know, people used to kick it back at the barbecue. You know, I did not expect it to just be her mother. Besides her mother, a lot of celebrity friends came. And on top of that, when her father had that heart attack, and was in the hospital. He was supposed to walk her down the aisle. And Harry's father ended up walking her down the aisle. And I thought it was I thought it was actually pretty sweet. It was a very nice moment. I will admit I got up early to see. Now at this crucial point between the engagement and the wedding, it seems like within almost a year and a half, things took a stumble. Now, I'm going to come back around to my Canada point in a minute, but this is why I think something is really amiss here. 
when you come into a situation where, okay, you might not get along with your father, but it could have been an auntie and his family you got along with. It could have been a cousin you got along with. I'm talking about on the father's side. I know her I know her relationship with her father was strained. But to only literally have one family member come to that lavish wedding, trust me when I say every cousin, uncle, aunt, whoever would have been leaping over each other to get a passport to get to that wedding. So she's basically isolated herself from her family. Now, she does choose to be with a lot of celebrities, which is fine. You know, if you want to live that life, so be. But what I'm actually starting to take issue with is now Harry is being isolated. And I love Canada. Let me see if I can find my Canadian flag picture. I absolutely love Canada, and I'm actually starting to feel bad that Canada is actually in the news uh, so much with this craziness right now. It's just not a good look. Um, Canada is a very welcoming, nice country. I actually live um, pretty close to Niagara Falls, and I've always had a good time at Niagara Falls. All right, can't find my Canadian flag picture. But, see, now we're getting to a point where, let me go ahead and make my point about Megan. She's isolated herself from her family. She's isolated Harry from his family. They went to Canada. Love you, Canada. And they're still having the same problem. Now, she's been there for almost two weeks. He just flew in last night. And all of a sudden this morning, uh, they're already ready to sue. Paparazzi following. And I'm not going to post that picture on here out of respect for them. But her walking her dog. And she has her two bodyguards with her. The baby is strapped in. And it seems like she's literally smiling at the camera. It doesn't seem like she's offended that the camera is there. But as soon as Harry flew in, all of a sudden now, uh, there's this enrage the next morning that, oh my God, now we have to go sue. Well, this is the same thing you were going through in Britain. You went to Canada to get away from the paparazzi. The paparazzi took a picture of her walking with her baby, two dogs, and two bodyguards. Terry gets back to Canada, and now their privacy is all messed up again. I'm just starting to feel like there's some kind of manipulation going on. Now, Harry has given up his status given up his HRH title, his Royal Highness title. He's lost his military titles. He's lost, uh, you know, charity charities with the Queen that the Queen sponsored, so he can no longer represent her there. I believe he does have his private charities that he started, which I think all of them are great charities. But I'm just taking an issue that as soon as Harry flies in, takes a nap, wakes up, Megan is crying that she needs to sue, even though she didn't even look upset in the picture. She literally looked like she was doing a model pose for the picture. Because it looked like she was looking dead in the eye. You can Google this for yourself. It looked like she was looking dead on at that camera and knew she was being photographed. Her bodyguards were like to her side and her back. But it looked like they were walking behind her. It don't look like they were really talking to her. It looked like they were just being, you know, alert and, you know, looking out for her. So it don't look like they were having a conversation. So what I'm saying is it really looked like she was talking to the camera. 
and she was not talking to her bodyguards. Now look, this man has gave up his throne. He's a prince. You know, you got all of Britain uh, wanting to come after you. You know, um, it's sad to see this. All I'm saying is I hope that Harry did not get played because, look, you're a public figure. You're always going to be a public figure. You guys stand out. You guys look great. You really can't hide in public. I know you guys want privacy, but you got to remember, you're celebrities. I'm starting to have a hard time believing, and at first I really did have Megan's side. But some of this is just not lining up here. Some things are just not lining up. I almost feel like you moved to Canada, but you're still having the same issues. And this is like, Harry just got to Canada. Now you guys got the lawyers over there on speed dial. So pick a fence. You know, either you're going to just let this die down, let, let it die down for a while. You know, or it's just going to keep going. And right now, I just feel like this is just going on and on and on. Every day is new drama. Every single day. So, I think that this may get to a breaking point with Prince Harry if Meghan cannot begin to maybe control herself or just stop being so petty. You know, after a while, Harry is going to get pissed off with this. And this is just my personal opinion. And, you know, we'll just keep following this day by day. So please like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Love Radio at 44132 on Twitter. Um, also, please like, share, sub, and subscribe. Until the next time, guys. Enjoy your day.